This is ridiculous. I'm one of the most decorated officers in the Covenant fleet. I'm more than qualified to lead this mission. I don't need him holding my hand. Oh great, here he comes. Fleet Commander, welcome back. How was your rest? Terrible. My bed would not stop vibrating. Oh, that's my bed. He's been stuck in ultra pleasure. Oh, we. My apologies, Fleet Commander. I shall have the bed replaced immediately. But Druko, where will they take my bed? The incinerator. Be sure that you do. Oh, and have them look into the odd music and strobe lights as well. <gasps> it shall be done. Now then. Have you completed the repairs? Yes, Fleet Commander, but the damage was severe. I cannot guarantee that the portal will work properly. Well, what would you suggest? But you have someone test it, Fleet Commander. Well, I can't test it. I have a fleet to command. Well, I can't do it. I have to lead this mission. Well, I can't. I'm the only one who knows how to program the VCR. Well, I can't do it. I have to make sure they don't throw out my strobe lights. Sub Commander, I order you to test this teleporter. Alright, I'll do it. But only because you asked me, Drugo. I didn't ask you. I ordered so you So what do I do exactly? Simply walk through. If it works, you should arrive in a cavern beneath this island. I hope he makes it. Please don't come back. 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 Hello, Jugo. Oh, f Fix it! Fix it now! I'm trying. I'm trying. I can get used to this. Yes. Double your pleasure, Jugo. Hurry! It won't hold! It's breaking up! There! Try it now! Oh, fine. You go first. I prefer to bring up the rear. Just go already! Drop the weapon, stranger. Alright, let me just step over here and- Kate, You have a shot! Take it! Oh, bugger. I said drop the weapon. But I don't want to. Well, why not? I'll be defenseless. That's the point. Well, that's not fair. It's not supposed to be fair. Can't I just point my gun at the ground? But it's already pointed at the ground. But I'm not gonna shoot you. Why should I believe that? I don't even know you. Of course you do. Us talking here for the last 30 seconds doesn't count. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Why not? Listen, I'm not gonna let you drag me into a debate over what constitutes a friendship. Now drop your gun and I won't hurt you. But I don't want to. Why not? Because I don't know you. Ha! You see? This is Private Bauer calling Private Marsh. Private Marsh, come in. I thought we agreed to use code names on this channel. Damn it, Marsh. There's no time for this. I can't hear you. Alright, fine. Silver Goose to Super Dude. Super Dude, come in. Yes? Lipton and I have a little problem. <sighs> what kind of problem? Um, there's a guy inside this building with a gun to Lipton's head. Well, that's just prime. Shh. I'll be back for you later, my precious. So what do we do? I've never had any training for this type of situation. Neither have we, but that hasn't stopped us yet. Well, when I was a vet and we had a sick sheep, we would sneak up when it wasn't looking and take it by surprise. That always seemed to work. Is, uh, that the same technique you used during mating season? I swear to God, Morris. I swear to God. Wait, the veterinarian may be onto something there. Minus the bestiality, of course. Beastie what now? Well, that's what they call it when a man makes sweet, sweet love to a sheep. All right, Morris, that's it. You're a dead man. Oh, have I brought back the memory of an old flame that can never be? That's enough, you two. We need to hurry before it's too late. Can't I just point my gun at the ground? For the tenth time, no. Well, how about this? I'll drop my weapon if you lower yours. Well, that sounds okay. Uh-huh, got you. 
<laughs> Got you. But wait, I... <sighs> Damn it. Drop your weapon and we won't hurt you. Much. Good work, Private. I surrender. Ah, you weren't expecting that, were you, my naive friend? saying? Oh man, did I miss my cue again? What do we do? The only thing we can do. We surrender. Oh heck.